Okay, so I was working up a, uh, another video and it came to mind that uh, a few people have asked how, to you, how do you set visible or invisible the printer bed that shows up in the mesh mixer software. So um, if you click on view and you go to right here or control shift P, show printer bed. So if this is already on, you can't figure out how to turn it off, that's how you turn it on. Just toggle that back and forth. You can't see below it, but sometimes it's nice just to see how big your object is that you're going to be printing, where it would fit in the print bed. This doesn't necessarily relate exactly to the printer in the soft when you go to export it, but at least gives you sort of a frame of reference for how big your objects are and whatnot. Uh, and Mesh Mixer comes with a very large, risk, uh, large list of printer beds. If you click on this little button up here, uh, it'll show you which one. Now, the, truthfully, this Prusa MK3 is an FDM printer I have. It's not actually listed. I had to add it myself. And so I want to show you how to do that. This is the, the standard list of ones that come up. Um, those of you that use the Formlabs Form 2 printer, you can click right here, and it automatically resizes for it. Um, but what if you have one that is not supported? Well, it's very easy and quick to go ahead and add one. So if you can't find this box, if for some reason this doesn't show up, you can come to, um, let me see, File, Preferences, and then right here, Printers. The same thing if I just click here, Print Preferences, pops up the same window. So again, I actually have already added for myself the um, Sprint Ray, let me find it, sorry, alphabetical. I unchecked it because I didn't want that to mislead you. Um, so if you didn't have it in here and you wanted to make it visible, um, you can click right here to add. Now you're just going to type in the manufacturer's name, which is Sprint Ray, not the Moon Ray, that's the, 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 the product. Sprint Ray, and now go to model and say uh, Moon Ray S. And now you just need to enter the dimensions of it, which is pretty simple. To do so, we're going to come to the we're going to come to Google, and I'm going to go to their website, SprintRay.us. And if I click right on the picture of the printer, it's going to show me the actual specs in the printer. I have to scroll down a little ways, about halfway down the page, and here are the two different printers they uh, they have. The one that I use is this Moonray uh, Moonray S, which is a five by three point two by eight. So I'm going to change it to inches. 5 by 5.3.2 by 8. I'm going to tell it it's the Rayware software. At this moment, um, it does not uh, automatically communicate with the software. Uh, I, we are working, well, I've, I've brought that up to the uh, Sprint Ray folks, and hopefully in the future we will, but uh, if it does, did, you could come here, click here, and search for the actual, actual software executable file, the .exe file, so that when you press um, the print button down here, maybe it would actually pop up the printer. But for now, it's not there. Um, and But anyway, so all you really need to do is add these features, and then click Add. When you do that, I'm not going to do it again because I've already done it once, it will give you right here this option. I mean, it'll be checked for you automatically. So now, if I click to Sprint Ray, here's my Moonray S platform, okay? So now I could take my mo my whatever object it is and I could visualize how is this going to look on here, okay? Um, okay, I'm going to I want to rotate say I want to see how many I could print if this was actually a closed model. I could rotate it real quickly, move it up here, and now I could say, okay, well, I could print this one, I could add another one, and, and visualize how much space do I have. Um, so anyway, that's how to add a pr the print bed for you. One other tip for you is most of us don't have that many printers, so I would actually check set none of them visible. Then come over and check the printers that you have that you readily, you often use, those boxes only, and that way uh, you can kind of go back and forth without having to uh, worry about, you know, just quickly, um, there's my MK3, and then back to my Moon S. Okay? Well, hopefully that's helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, um, and that's about it. All right, thanks so much.